Hey guys, I'm back with another pick a card reading. Sorry for being away so long. I've had a lot of priorities after moving. Personal readings are now still a bit still closed for right now um, because I've got a lot of stuff that I have to take care of, and living in a house is a lot of work and um, just all of that's a lot of work. But I will do my best to get personal readings up. I will most likely go up early in the morning my time because it's when I have time to do them. So, um, I mean, pick a card reading, not personal reading, pick a card reading. Anyways, um, this is group one, this is group two, and this is group three. Um, I will go ahead and pull out crystals and charms today as well. Um, so as you know, I read crystals as well. So, um, Crystal readings will be included in the pick a card reading. This is what you need to hear right now. So let's see what's going on. All right. Group one. I'm going to set group two on group three over here. So let me pop a crystal on group two and group three. All right, so for those of you that pick group one, let's see what your message is. Give me like. I'm going to go ahead and pull some crystals now for you. Move my selenite for a minute there. Right. What I do when I read crystals is I feel for the vibration of the crystal and it tells me which is which. All right. So I do have some crystals pulled. Your crystals are sodalite, angelite, clear quartz, blue sandstone, amethyst, and Botswana Agate. So, before we get into this reading, let's uh, go ahead and I'm thinking one crystal needs to be read first, and it is the Botswana Agate. This is about sheltering yourself from negativity. I feel like negativity is the only thing blocking you right now. Um, whether it's negative thought process or anything like that. I'm sorry, I'm really out of it. I just woke up. But um, your negative thought processes are just, they're blocking you. You need to stop your negative thought processes. I'm hearing that's probably your only blockage right now to getting what you want. Okay, so we have the Seven of Wands, the Page of Pentacles, the Nine of Pentacles, and the Tower card in reverse. Yeah, okay. Let's read your tarot really quick. So... We have the Nine of Pentacles here, and we have the Tower card. Now, judging by the energy, a Nine of Pentacles can be a single card, but Nine of Pentacles can also represent um, money. But in this case, um, there is another message as well. Um, 
there is something that you're not stable in with yourself, whether it's self-confidence. Because this Nine of Pentacles is all about stability, confidence, everything, confidence in your money, confidence in yourself, stuff like that. Um, but I feel like you guys are struggling with self-confidence and like you don't know how to change it and like you're stuck in this thought process of negative thought processes and it's not changing with the tower card in reverse um and you need to you actually need to turn this tower card in the upright um and change your thought process and get away from your shadow self um which leads me to my next crystal sodalite now Sodalite, this darker sodalite. My guides told me something yesterday when I picked this up from somewhere. Um, they said this would help you with your shadow side. So I am going to recommend sodalite to you. It also can protect you against darkness. Um, like a lot of darkness, whether it's your dark side or other darkness surrounding you, it, it can protect you from that. But um, I recommend a darker soda light if um, you can get it. We've got a lot of dark colors here, I've noticed, because we even have blue sandstone, which is darker, but it, it has sparkles. So I'm, what I'm drawn to in the blue sandstone is the sparkles is you have a lot of self-confidence issues but you're not you're failing to see what you already have the light in the situation can you see those sparkles so you need to see the light in every situation i feel like this group is failing to see the light in the situation you're not being very grateful for what you have you need to be grateful for what you have look at the light in the situation be grateful for what you already have and other things will flow to you now um if this resonates please go check out jj constellation because she has something similar um in a message on her channel so maybe you'll re resonate with jj constellation as well but um yeah let's continue so with the angelite i feel like your angels are trying to surround you with with love and reassurance to tell you that everything is going to be okay and sometimes you're just like oh what if 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 and you need to back off the what ifs because the what ifs the shoulda woulda couldas i'm hearing being be gentle with yourself don't yell at yourself like some of you, like, when, when something goes wrong, you say, oh, this is my fault, or I'm stupid, or if you say something wrong, you call yourself stupid, stop. You need to stop calling yourself stupid. You need to stop thinking yourself stupid and embrace yourself because your angels are here with you, and they're guiding you, and they are telling you that everything's going to be okay. The other thing is if you're worried about theft or anything, you're protected, um, your finance, your financial abundance is protected right now. Um, as long as you can change your thought process into something more happy. Um, I am being prompted to tell you there's always enough. Um, there's always enough time. There's always enough money. There's always enough. It's always, there's always going to be enough for you. Okay. Even if even if you don't have everything that you want right now, there's always going to be enough um, of what you need, okay? You're going to be provided for with this Nine of Pentacles. The, the next message I'm getting with the Nine of Pentacles is you're going to be provided for. Some of you, somebody may have um, a past love, may have kind of like drifted away from you. <clears throat> and you've been kind of been like, blaming yourself for them drifting away from you um i really don't feel like that is a thing i feel like this person may be dealing with their own things right now 
but you're going to receive communication for the, from them. So stop. Stop stop worrying about um what you did wrong and look at everything you do right. Stop stop looking at everything you do wrong and look at everything you do right. That's another message for you here. For some of you, you may have some kind of job promotion coming in. This isn't for everyone since this is a general reading, but some of you may have that coming in. Some of you may be getting communication that you've been waiting for about a job as well, um, about a better job than the one that you're at with the Nine of Pentacles. That's not for all of you. That's, that's, this is a general reading. That's for a few of you. Okay, admit your true feelings to yourself. Be honest with yourself. You only know what it is you truly desire. <clears throat> so then we've got easy does it. Stop trying so hard to control everything and all doors will open for you. So I feel like you are trying to control a situation, whether it be with a relationship or something else. You're trying to control a situation. And you're focusing on a lot of things that you don't want. Some of you are imagining things that you don't want. They're saying, stop it. That's blocking you. Stop imagining things you don't want and imagine all the good things that you do want. <clears throat> and then we have easy does it. So stop trying so hard to control things. So like with this easy does it, I feel like you guys have been trying to control how a situation happens or... How the outcome happens I'm, I'm seeing candles you may be putting your intentions into a. some of you may be putting your intentions into a candle for things to happen a certain way but see the thing is the universe delivers the way that they think is best for the the, the, the universe delivers the way that it thinks it's best for you um, or God or whoever you believe in um, or whatever you believe in, it delivers in the way that is best for you. So I feel like when you put your intentions into something like exactly as you want it to be, I'm let, I, I'm being told to let you know that even though you have put your intentions in it to happen exactly a sp specific way, there may be some details that will be different when your manifestation occurs um, because it comes about in the way that's best for you okay everything comes in the time that it's meant to come some of you guys may be feeling a bit unstable um and you're going through a lot of obstacles um whether this is in your mind or at home or financially um, you're, you're going through some obstacles right here with the maze. And then the other thing is I'm hearing if you guys are having people that over, that are overstepping their bounds during these obstacles, I'm hearing set boundaries. I'm really hearing set boundaries. Um, because if you don't set boundaries with people that are overstepping, you know, they're just going to keep overstepping. I swear this moving. I've got this like hangnail on my finger. It really hurts. Oh, I can't get it off. All right. The next card is Moonstone. Oh my gosh. Uh, okay. This is Moonstone. Okay, mystery, intuition. I feel like you're being told to trust the great mystery of when and where things will happen. And the next thing is your intuition is very on point. Um, if you've been wondering if you're hearing your guides right, uh, this is your yes card. You are. Um mirror truth revealed the truth is that people mirror you um what you put out there 
the universe gives you a mirror kind of okay so there is this thing where you know how you have this thing the universe gives us people that are in desperate need in the way that of we are too that okay so people that come into your life they're mirroring what you need right now or what they need right now um basically if somebody comes into your life and they are rude to you you're meant to learn a lesson and i feel like some of your lessons are to to learn to set boundaries um another thing is you might notice that you may have a certain action towards somebody and then somebody else in your life may mirror exactly what you do to that other person and do it to you. Um, I, I'm not sure how that works, but it kind of like, I noticed that about something as well for myself. Um, so yeah, that does happen. So be careful how you treat people. Make sure you treat people with up, utmost respect because um, what goes around comes around is really coming through to me. Um, next is obsidian grounding, shielding, void. So I feel like you guys need to avoid negativity at all costs. Um, if you're trying to avoid a very negative person, you're doing the right thing. I'm hearing some of you just need to sit down and ground yourself, whether it be through meditation, reading a book, or watching a movie. Do something that that will help you. Do something that makes you happy because that will ground you. But you need to avoid negativity. You know, you need to avoid... And th this even means negative thought processes. This this means putting not putting yourself down, too. Um... I'm drawn to the clear quartz now. There's a lot of light coming. And there's a lot of truth coming. Um, there's a lot of truth, a lot of light coming. Um, there's going to be a, a truth revealed about this relationship where somebody kind of just distanced herself from you for a little while. And I'm being told to tell you, again, it's not your fault that they kind of distanced themselves. They may have ghosted you for a little while. They will probably come back very soon. Um, but you're going to see the truth of the situation that they were going through. And I have a feeling that some of you are going to feel really bad for thinking the worst because it really wasn't the worst. It was something that they were going through. I'm being told to ask if you are scared or, or I'm being told to tell you to ask that if you are scared, ask your angels to surround you with their white light of protection. And we have amethyst. Amethyst goes with the third eye, intuition, amethyst. Amethyst also can help you release negative thoughts, transmute negative thoughts into more positive. It just, it helps you release negative, negative thoughts. And it's like a shield towards negative thoughts, negative, just negativity. Um, it, it helps bring the light to the situation. Um, you've got a lot of crystals telling you to avoid negativity. You've got a lot of crystals that repel negativity in your in your reading. So I feel like your main message here is to really avoid negativity. All right, that's all I've got for pile number one. If this resonated, please feel free to like and subscribe. If you'd like to donate a deck, you can go ahead and do that. Um, I will open personal readings when I feel fit, but the way I'm going to do with personal readings is in order to get a personal reading, um, you will donate, it, it, it will be a deck donation to get a personal reading, but um, right now personal readings are closed, so yeah. 
I'm going to move on to pile number two. All right. Pile number two. All right. How do I come? Okay, cool. Let's see what we got. Okay, we have the Two of Swords in reverse. The Eight of Pentacles. And the Emperor. Okay. Right now there is some... There, there's some financial stability coming in. But you need to make your decisions wisely about money. Um, two of Swords can show a decision. Um, this could also be somebody is deciding something about money right now. Um, but I am also hearing save money. How did I know this message was going to come out? So I am hearing save money. I am really hearing save money. You're going to need it later. Be careful what you choose to spend your money on. Be, be frugal. Be frugal. Make sure you have enough money for your groceries. And make sure you have enough money for everything that you need before you spend your money on everything that you want. You have somebody coming in for you. Somebody that may have set boundaries against you. Somebody is coming forward. They are a person with boundaries. The other thing that the emperor is telling me is that there is stability coming in your finances and it could be delivered to you in the form of a letter. There's a lot of new stuff on the horizon for you. I've got codependency. Now, with codependency here, Addictions are affecting your romantic life. I don't feel like this is the message here. I feel like this card is telling you that even though it doesn't seem like you can de depend on your partner, you can actually depend on your partner. Um, with codependency here, I don't feel like this is your being codependent. I'm seeing another message here. I'm feeling like your guides want you to know because this this person it may have um this person that you're seeing may have set a few boundaries with you and they're saying even though this person has set a few boundaries with you and has kind of pulled back their energy a bit it's it's not personal and you can depend on this person okay you can depend on your partner even if they've kind of pulled back their energy a little bit Okay, we've got pregnancy. A birth of a child brings great blessings to you in the world. Now, some of you, you you're going to be getting pregnant. So if you don't want to get pregnant, please use protection while you have sex because there may be a lot of sex coming in. Um, the other message I'm getting here is if you're not getting pregnant with pregnancy, this is a great time to give birth to new ideas and also pregnancy can signify new beginnings coming or new ideas coming to life. And I feel like you need to follow those new ideas that you get. And then the next thing I'm getting is there may be a child involved in your love life. Um, there may be a child involved. Maybe your partner has children or you have children. And um, this may be why he this 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 guy may have pulled back is because like he's taking care of his kids. Um, the next thing 
is holiday. The answer you are looking for can be found on a vacation or retreat or holiday getaway. So I feel like the answers to everything you're looking for will just randomly pop into your head and you'll just know. I feel like you guys may be gifted with claircognizance or clairsentience. Like maybe when you say something out loud that you know is true, you'll get the chills in confirmation. Or some of you may just know something. You may say something out loud and then it happens. This happens during the time that you are not focusing on everything you desire or everything that, that you need to have. It, it happens when you're having fun. Um, you can randomly get some kind of thing, some kind of message when you're having fun or doing some kind of self-care. Whether you're having fun or doing some kind of self-care, um, I feel like um, answers will come to you while you're caring for yourself, just like the answers will randomly come to you. I feel like you're a very intuitive person. We have woman and we have man. For some of you, your parents play a very big significant role in your life. And they're saying you can trust your parents. You can, you, your parents are not people that you can't trust. The other message I'm getting with the man and the woman is since the emperor was here, I feel like there is a new dawn coming. Oh my gosh. Spring and winter. I swear. Oh my gosh. I'm like, again, those cards. Like, wow. So you have a couple of timelines. I feel like this could be a timeline for your relationship. For the man and the woman, the other message I'm getting here with the man and the woman is even though there were boundaries set up, there is stability coming. Because the emperor can be about um, gaining stability or creating your own stability. Now, I feel like the stability comes in your relationship as you create your own stability in yourself and you take care of yourself, okay? Um, I feel like there's a new dawn coming with your partner, like a new dawn. I keep hearing new dawn, new dawn. Um, oh my gosh, look what spring says at the bottom of it. It says renewal. Remember how I was just saying renewed new dawn. Oh my gosh. It says renew renewal. Okay. So we have winter and spring, um, awakening projects, renewal, reflection, transition, and release. Now, with the projects, I feel like as you focus on your own projects, your relationship naturally manifests. Other things that you want naturally manifest. Are you really? Okay. Um, give me one sec. I'm going to go grab another deck. They said to pull a card from something. It's my homemade deck. I was not expecting this. Okay, alrighty, let's see what they wanted you to see. Let's see what they wanted you to see. Okay, within the next few weeks. Um, stop waiting for something to happen you're important to. So some of you may be waiting around for something to happen and you're important too and they're saying what you want is coming within the next few weeks but you're important too you need to take care of yourself one more card thank you see look at this oh my gosh now spring is also about giving birth to new ideas so i feel like you need to follow your ideas Okay, but here's the thing. Here's the last thing. Believe you can have what you want. I made this myself. What's the one more you would like them to see? Okay, look, believe you can have what you want came right out. Okay, 
So a lot of you have been worried that you may not have enough time to make things work. And we have, there is plenty of time. Okay, you, you have plenty of time to save up that money for whatever you want to save it for. Make yourself feel worthy, self-care. Now, by taking care of yourself, your desires just kind of naturally flow to you. Um, and the other thing is, every time that you feel like something goes wrong, dust yourself off and try again. Dust yourself off and try again. Because, you know, nobody ever said life was going to be easy. Um, so you just got to dust yourself off and try again every time. You can't just, like, quit after one thing, okay? You can't quit just because something happens. You can't give up just because something happens. I feel like you're sitting around waiting for something to happen. You're sitting around waiting for either money to come or, or a partner to come to you or a partner to com fully commit to you. I'm hearing your partner is committed to you already, and you may find out that you could have de you can depend on this person no matter what. Hmm. Okay, so yeah, you've been waiting for your partner for a while, and what your partner wants you to know is wait for me. Please don't give up on me. Don't change anything about yourself. Some of you, because you've been waiting for this person so long, you've been beating up on yourself. You need to be gentle with yourself. I care for you more than you know. Okay, so your partner, you don't need to worry about changing yourself for your partner. Your partner likes you as exact, exactly as you are. And with wait for me, I feel like this partner is worth waiting for. And this partner wants you to wait for him, wait, wait for them. And it says, please don't give up on me. So this partner, I feel like may be going through a rough time. And you may not be seeing that. And you will see it. It will come to light because we've got lessons here. We've got lessons here. You're going to learn what your partner's been going through. You're going to learn what your partner's been going through. You're going to learn that... Your project that you put so much work into is your your manifestations are coming to fruition. Things are working. Um, we also got, you need to release the situation. Let it go. Let the situation with your lover kind of go. You don't have to stop loving this person. You don't have to stop caring about this person. You don't have to stop caring about... Uh, you don't have to stop talking to the person. You just need to let go and let things happen. Go with the flow. I'm really hearing go with the flow. Another thing is these are timelines. I am being told that winter and spring are timelines for you guys. So something may happen in winter with your partner. But it may take till spring for everything to fully blossom. So I feel like you're going to get to know uh, around winter time. There's going to be a lot. Of getting to know your partner a lot more there's going to be a lot of hanging maybe possibly hanging out with your partner more um you know i'm hearing christmas there there might be something um significant in christmas for you as well um but your renewal coming your 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 full renewal i feel like you're gonna start seeing a lot of the full manis that manifestations around spring um, but there's, there's quite a bit manifesting in winter as well. I feel like you guys are going to have a good winter, um, season. You guys are going to have a winter season full of blessings, but also ref with reflection as well. I'm feeling like you and your partner are both self-reflecting on each other. I feel like even your partner may have low self-esteem as well, and they may be reflecting and they're telling you, this person is reflecting, but they will be back. They will be communicating with you. Um, this person is kind of like, I feel like your person's kind of going through a transitional time in their life, and you may even be going through a transitional time in your life as well. Maybe you moved. Maybe you're going through a transition in finances. Maybe you're waiting for something 
for some kind of maybe you're waiting for some kind of decision to be made about your finances um you know maybe there's there's a decision that needs to be made at work whether you get a promotion or something um but whatever this decision is that has not been made yet there is a decision that hasn't been made yet with the two of swords in reverse and maybe you're waiting on this decision to be made when this decision is made and the when this decision is made you will gain stability i feel like financial abundance is coming for you but i'm being told patience is needed until your financial abundance comes all right so i'm going to pull a couple crystals for you okay a couple fell out on their own look a second carnelian came out oh my gosh Okay, so we have this stone. I forgot what it's called. I feel like it's kind of, it's some kind of a gate, like a type, it's a smoky type of gate. But um, anyways, this crystal to me is the light in the darkness. This crystal's always been the light in the darkness. Um, it's always been about the fog clearing um, where you learn that, that everything was okay all along. So I feel like the fog is clearing up for you guys. You're going to learn that you had nothing to worry about all along, that everything was okay. I feel like you're going to learn that everything was okay. Okay? In the first place, I feel like that's what you're going to learn. Um, and the reason I feel this way is because we have the red tiger's eye. You're going to you're going to find out that everything was okay with the red tiger's eye. The red tiger's eye helps bring you success in your endeavors in whatever you're trying to manifest. It helps bring you success in your manifestations. Um it's a great stone. Um so this is basically saying your manifestations are going to be a success. It's just taking a little bit more time. And like you got the within the next few weeks card. So that's beautiful. So yeah, you're going to find out that you had nothing to worry about all along. The fog is going to clear. And you're going to find out you had nothing to worry about all along. We have Malachite. This can represent the heart chakra represent um letting go of negativity um and seeing the beauty in everything this is also a very protective stone um i'm also hearing you don't have to protect your heart it's not going to get broken you don't have to protect your heart this person isn't going to break your heart there's no need to protect your heart. Keep your heart open. I'm really hearing keep your heart open. We have fluorite. This is good for all chakras. The fluorite is my empath stone. Okay, when this person comes in and they will come back to see you at some point. If you haven't seen this person in a while, they're coming back to see you. And there's gonna be a lot of sex when they come to see you because we've got Carnelian twice. Carnelian is not only about um, confidence, but also sexual energy because it comes from, it, 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 it grounds the, the chakra that helps with your sexual libido and stuff like that. But we've got a lot of a lot of fiery colors with the red tiger's eye and both carnelians. We've got a lot of fiery colors. Um, even with the um, mahogany of gate, a gate, or a mahogany obsidian, I'm sorry, mahogany obsidian, there is a lot of sensuality here. There's going to be a lot of sensuality, a lot of sexuality. Like I said, if you don't want to get pregnant, use protection 
but I feel like when this person comes in, they're going to be a bit more stable and grounded and they may finally want to put in the effort because the thing is, I feel like this person has been in the land of indecision about whether to put in effort or not right now. And I feel like this person's decision is, with the Eight of Pentacles and the Upright, this, per this person's decision, they're trying to make a decision to put in the effort. This person's going to come in in more stable energy. And the reason why I feel like they're, they're, tr they're going to start putting in the effort is because we've got codependency. And remember that message that they gave me? My guides gave me about, like, you can depend on this person. You can depend on this person. Not only that, but we've got the, the man and woman here, too. You know, this this is stability. Um, you know, we've got renewal at the bottom up here. And we've got pregnancy. So I feel like this person is going to make the decision to put in the effort. However, while this person is going to put the decision in to make, make the effort, you need to make the effort on yourself for self-care. Um, you can just stay calm and know that this person is going to come in and put in the effort. Stability is coming for you in both finance, finances and relationships, I'm hearing. Your finances are going to stable themselves out. Your relationships are going to stable themselves out. Your Even your family relationships are going to stable themselves out. But with this fluorite, I am being told that you need to, instead of focusing on what everybody, everybody says, um, some of you wonder about the feelings. I feel like you guys are empaths. Fluorite is my empath stone. Um, so I feel like you guys need to pay attention to body language or what you feel in their energy. Maybe you guys can feel other people's energy and feel, maybe you're a human bullshit detector. Um, like, like maybe you're a human lie detector. You know when somebody's lying, you know when somebody's telling the truth. Use that intuition, use that empathy, use your gift of empathy to feel what this other person is feeling. Observe it. <clears throat> observe their body language. Observe how they seem to feel. Observe how they seem to act around you and all that. And then we've got lapis lazuli. Speak your truth with kindness. Don't lash out at people. That's the only message I'm getting with the lapis lazuli. You need to embrace your self-confidence with the carnelian and you do have a lot of Sexual stuff coming in, like I said, if you don't want to get pregnant, use protection. With the mahogany obsidian, you are going to start seeing the darkness fade away. Anything that was unclear is going to start fading away. You can see how there's only spots of black on here. While there still may be a few ups and downs, all that darkness is clearing. Light is coming. And... It may be slow going because this is not a white and black. This is a kind of mahogany and black. So it may take some time for things, for, for, for everything, for the fog to start clearing, but the fog is going to clear. All right, that's all I got for group two. If this resonated, please like and subscribe. Um, if you'd like to donate a deck, I'll have that link down below, but I'm going to move on to pile number three. All right, pile number three. Pile number three needs to trust their intuition. Okay, pile number three, you've had a lack of drive. You've had a lack of energy, a lack of drive, everything. And some of you... You're taking really good care of your children. Um, but they're also saying that you need to take care of yourself as well. Like maybe your children are wearing you out. And for others of you, if this isn't children, this card is also about your family in general. Maybe your family is wearing you out in general. Um, and you may need to take a step back to kind of gather yourself so that you don't have a lack of energy and a lack of drive. I'm really sensing a lack of energy, a lack of drive here. 
a lot of inner conflict, a lot of, you need to pay attention to your health. You need to be re really careful with your health. With the Two of Wands, some of you have chosen to stay away from the doctor a little too long. Um, if you need to go visit the doctor, if there's some kind of annual exam you need to go get, go get it. Um, stop procrastinating um, on getting annual exams for, for your doctor. Um, I'm hearing pap. So some of you may have put off a pap, a pap smear. Um, and they're telling you, get that done. It's imperative for you to get that done for, for my females here. Um, it's imperative to get that done. If you're a female, you need to get that done. Um, I'm just going to tell it like it is on this channel because the messages come to me as it need be. Now, we have stay optimistic about your love life. Positive thinking will bring you the romance you seek. So I feel like some of you may have been having a little bit of trouble in your relationship or marriage and they're saying luck is on your side right now. And if and others of you, if you're waiting for commitment from your partner or maybe you're wanting to get engaged, they're saying luck is on your side. It'll happen. You'll get married. You'll get engaged. Things will work out with your partner. Things are going to start working out in your love life. This is a very short message. You guys already know what you need to hear. Your desire was, is within reach. Have faith as everything is working in your favor. So I feel like you don't need to worry so much. Everything is going to work out in your favor that you are trying to manifest. Whatever you're trying to manifest is working out in your favor, but you guys already know that. You're coming here for confirmation. We have purple, third eye, and clairvoyance. You need to pay attention to your intuition. Remember when I said you guys already know that your desire is within reach? You kind of just know your desire is coming to you. You know it's coming to you. You need to trust that because I feel like you have clairvoyance, claircognizance, stuff like that going on. Sometimes you just know things. Um, you need to pay attention to your intuition as it's very on point. We have violet, spirituality, wisdom, humility. See, wisdom. Wisdom. You have all the wisdom you need. You know what you need to know. And you know that you're being guided. Because we have high counsel. I feel like you guys, the other message here is you need to see the potential in every situation. Because you guys are feeling drained. You're feeling a little bit like lack of drive. You guys have been really busy and doing a lot. You guys have been working hard to manifest. And the thing is, they're saying you don't need to work hard to manifest so much because your, 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 your things are manifesting. Yeah, you can work hard to manifest, but then you've got to let it go. But I feel like you guys already know that you've got to let go of that for your manifestation to occur. And I feel like you guys already know your manifestation is coming. Wow, this is a very short message. Um, we've got, you know, you're, you're, you're being guided. Um, you're going to receive some kind of information about something um, that, that, that you've been wondering about. Um, I'm hearing test results will come back clean and good. For some of you don't know what that's about only you know what that's about I'm hearing you'll get the job see what we got for crystals here we got unikite black onyx botswana agate citrine lapis lazuli black obsidian um amber and malachite <laughs> so what I'm feeling is you guys are a very loving person. You've done a lot of heart chakra work and it's paying off. 
the only thing left to practice is self-love and continuing to practice self-love. I feel like you guys do practice self-love from time to time, but you need to continue to practice it. Don't like, don't stop practicing self-love and self-care. Um, this is all about self-confidence. Embrace your self-confidence. Embrace your beauty. Embrace all of that. Embrace everything that's beautiful in life and about you as well. Um, there's a lot of energy drain here. And I feel like some of you need to distance yourself from any toxic people that you have. Because I've got Black Onyx, Black Obsidian, and Botswana Agate. Some of you, um, if you are into spirituality, please sage more often. As um, Botswana Agate does protect you from negative energy spirits and entities as well okay um so i feel like you need to sage more often um it would be beneficial to you and it may help clear some of the lack of drive um when you're saging i am being told to go ahead and um I am being told to go ahead and pray to Archangel Michael with Citrine. There is some goodness coming to your life. I'm sorry, I just got a message. <laughs> so I'm like, yeah. Um, yeah, there's a lot of positive energy that's going to start surrounding you very soon with the Citrine. Keep doing what you're doing with your heart. Keep keep believing in yourself, you know. I'm really hearing keep believing in yourself. Believe you can have what you want. Pay attention to what you already have and clean your fucking house. So you need to pay attention to cleaning your house. Um, and the bottom of the deck we have patience is needed. So I feel like you guys need to be very patient with your desire manifesting, but it's within reach. It's coming to you. Is there anything else I can get for you? I don't feel like there is. Hmm. They're not telling me much more. So I think that's it, pile number three. If this resonated, please feel free to like and subscribe. If, um... If you'd like to donate a deck, I'll have that deck wish list listed down below. Right now, personal readings are closed because I am in the middle of fixing up a house that hasn't been lived in in 10 years. So, yeah. Um, I will talk to you guys soon. Try to get more readings up. So, take care. Bye-bye.